think if it's a little lower, that looks perfect. Oh, hey, it's great to have you working around the boat with us again today here at Shipshape TV. I'm John Graviscus, and welcome to America's Favorite Boat Improvement Show. We've been invited out here to the coast of Oregon to do a couple of special projects. The first one has to deal with this transducer that goes to a fish finder, and we're going to mount it on the back of the transom to the 17-foot Staby craft. Now, we're going to position it so it not only reads the depth while at rest, but while underway as well, and there's a couple of tricks there. Now, after Captain Matt Barkley tells us about the special operational techniques that he's got lined up for us here in the Northwest, I'm going to fill you in on the next project that we've got going on, and this one's pretty dear to us. Matt? We're going to talk about right of way in regards to river navigation, John. The rules change a little bit when there's a constant current involved. We're going to cover navigation up and down the river as well as crossing it. And then for you folks that haven't made up your mind which new boat to buy this year, wait till you see the craft that John and I spec out as we review another new boat sent to us straight from the factory. And then for you well enthusiasts around the country, our second project deals in the release of Keiko the Killer Whale. Now Keiko is the same whale that was featured in the movie Free Willy, and we have the honor of aiding in that release by installing a special dive ladder to one of the release boats. We're also going to show you an outboard engine that was developed with no propeller. Instead, it's jet driven. Come on and spend some time on the Oregon coast with us as we show you some more great ways to make your boat ship shape.